Belt Book Lovers, welcome back to the Bibliovert channel. My name is Jacqueline and for today's video we are going to be talking about the books that I want to read this year. I think only one of them may be a new release that is happening this year. The rest of them have already been released and most of them are already on my shelves. So I have a goal for myself to read more of the physical books that I own on my shelves that I have not read yet. So hopefully this will hold me accountable and will help me accomplish that goal. Okay, the first one, I already know I'm gonna get to it for multiple reasons. One, because it is probably my most anticipated read of this year. I am already so excited to read it. And two, we are doing it for the Bibliovert podcast, but we're doing it in like June. So I'm forcing myself to wait and not read it so that I don't just forget everything. But I am so excited, but I don't have my hands on it yet. It is The Daughter of No Worlds by Carissa Broadbent. I have heard absolutely fantastic things about this book. I have heard that it gives Throne of Glass vibes and that it completely lives up to the hype. So I just want to get to all of Carissa Broadbent's books. We're actually doing both series, Daughter of No Worlds and The Serpent in the Wings of Night series on the podcast. So I am so excited and so ready to read it. But hands down, this one, I am just pumped. I don't love the covers. However, I don't care because I hear that the book is just chef's kiss incredible. Okay, the next one on the list, I have had this kind of like in the back of my head for a while, but I've just never picked it up. I, it's like piqued my curiosity. I've heard great things about it. All of the things that are in it are tropes that I love, but for some reason just like haven't gotten around to it yet. So I am forcing myself to read it this year and I'm really, really excited. And it is The Black Witch by Laurie Forrest. I'm pretty sure the last book either is already out or comes out this year. So it's going to be a complete series, which is really nice. You don't have to like wait for new releases or anything like that. But this is also set at like a school and I eat those up. I eat them up. I love that trope. I love that concept. It sounds like there's like academic rivals and enemies to lovers situation. And that is literally one of my favorite tropes of all time. So I am very keen, very excited to read this one. If you've read it, let me know your thoughts. Again, I've only ever heard good things. So I'm like really excited to start it. So this next one, this was all over Bookstagram, like in 2020, and I bought it and I never read it. So this one is another one of those where people that I really trust in their reviews are like, this is one of my favorite books of all time. I need you to read it ASAP. And then I just like, don't know why I didn't do it. So anyway, very excited, but it is The Kinder Poison by Natalie May. Again, this is another, <laughs> it has tropes that I love. It's like trials set in the desert. And I think it's like a race. And it makes me think of Hildago, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. And like, uh, it just like, why, why haven't I read this yet? It sounds so good. So anyway, this is going to be my year where I go back and I read all of those books from quarantine that I bought and put on my shelves and didn't read. And I think this is going to be one of the first ones. I just like, like, I need to do it, but it sounds so good. And I don't know why I haven't. And I'm kicking myself. That's basically going to be the theme for like every single book on this list. Um, but I'm very excited about this one. Okay. This one actually hasn't been sitting on my shelves for very long. I just got it. Um, it has been highly recommended to me from friends and I'm completely captivated by the cover because it very much gives me like mythology vibes. I don't think that the context of the book gives a whole lot of mythology vibes, but I'm here for it regardless. It sounds delightful. It also has childhood rivals and enemies and they have to come together and work together to solve the problem. And oh, that just like makes my little heart sing, but it is A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. There are slight similarities that I'm seeing with Spells for Forgetting by Adrian Young. However, I didn't love that book. So I'm hoping that this one is going to give me everything that Spells for Forgetting did not give me. Um, but it does seem like there's kind of like a little mystery aspect, magical. They're on this like mysterious island and I love that. So I'm really, really hopeful for this one. Um, I mean, like that cover is just absolutely stunning. So 
how can I not love it? So this next book is actually one that we are doing for the Bibliovert podcast, I think either in March or April. So I know I'm gonna read it soon and I am absolutely ecstatic. I cannot wait for it. And it's Spice Road by Maya Ibrahim. Oh my gosh. Okay, first off, one of my favorite series of all time is An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. And this definitely feels like there are some similarities, which I absolutely love. This book is very Middle Eastern inspired and our main character, Imani, has an affinity for metal. So she is a really talented warrior and her brother betrays her and her entire city. So she strikes a deal with the council to go and find her brother. She has to set off on this journey with two others and it just sounds absolutely fantastic. Sounds like there's going to be a lot of Middle Eastern mythology like genies and things like that. So I am absolutely over the moon. Cannot wait to read this and I'm thrilled that I get to read it so soon. Okay, so I'm like really pushing myself outside of my comfort zone one, with one of these for sure, but the other one I'm just kind of assuming. I do not like scary things at all. Like at all. I don't watch horror movies. I can't do it. Freaks me out. But I have one book that's definitely considered a gothic horror and the other one that I don't know if it technically is, but it sounds like it might be a little bit scary. <laughs> so I'm putting it under that label. The first one is Juniper and Thorn by Ava Reed. This one is the gothic horror. It's so funny because reading the description doesn't sound like it would be scary, but I did read the trigger warnings and content warnings and was shocked to see cannibalism on there. <laughs> so like, <laughs> anyway, I have heard from multiple people that this was one of their favorite reads of last year. Um, I think the cover is really, really pretty. It's also short. So maybe that's like helping me feel a little bit better <laughs> about the idea of being scared out of my mind. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm wearily, hesitantly intrigued. So let me know if it'll freak me out too much because I am absolutely a scaredy cat when it comes to horror things. Um, but I'm also like, mm, kind of curious. So we'll see. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. The next one doesn't seem quite so bad. Um, it kind of, I think I've given this description several times for several different books because it's like the only slightly scary movie I've really ever seen and actually watched with my eyes open instead of like humming to myself eyes closed the whole time. Um, and it's The Village by M. Night Shyamalan and it is The Luminaries by Susie and Dennard. This is also short, which is giving me a lot of hope. Um, but... There are several things about this book that have absolutely captivated me. One, there's also kind of like a trial situation, which again, I eat that up. Second, they were childhood best friends. Now they hate each other. And I think that it's going to be like childhood best friends to enemies to lovers. And that kind of fascinates me a little bit too. So like, yes, kind of getting village vibes, but I actually kind of liked that one kind of emphasis on the kind of um so i'm again curious about this one i'm more hopeful about this one than juniper and thorn because this one legitimately says gothic horror on the inside and also had trigger warning for cannibalism this one i haven't seen any trigger warnings for and does not say horror on the inside so i think we're a little bit more in luck but it's really beautiful it looks really good i think it's gonna probably be a bit more like suspenseful than like outright horror but what do i know <laughs> I think literally what do I know? So we'll see, um, but I'm, I'm interested. Okay, so we're going to take a hard pivot from horror and I have one book specifically in the romance category that I really, really wanna read and it is Spoiler Alert by Olivia Dade. I've heard wonderful things. It looks super cute. If you've seen some of our other videos here on YouTube, I really enjoy reading fan fiction. And part of the plot is that both of the main characters write fan fiction, which I love. I think that's super, super cute. I also love that we have plus size representation with our female main character. So I'm really excited about this one. I also have Shipwrecked by Olivia Dade, and that's another one that I really wanna get to this year. So um, I was just really excited. I've heard great things. I think it looks super cute. And I just think it would be such a fun read. But that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what books you are wanting to read this year or if you've read any of these and if there are any that I should avoid 
or ones that I should be really excited about. If you want to learn a little bit more about us, you can check us out on Instagram over at the Bibliavert Podcast. We also have a podcast called the Bibliavert Podcast. We release episodes every Monday that are romance, YA, and NA fantasy, sci-fi. They're so much fun. You can check us out on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Play. And we have a Patreon that is so much fun. If you're looking for a bookish community, please feel free to come join ours. We do monthly book buddy reads and a Zoom date to talk about that book. We have behind the scenes content. We have Patreon exclusive episodes and a chat that is just so much fun and we would love to have you come join us. I hope you have a fantastic day, happy reading, and I'll see you next time. Bye.